Welcome, 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 welcome to today's session. In a short while, we are starting. We are streaming live on Facebook page, our Fab Life community. So if you cannot uh, log in into Zoom, please uh, just go to our Facebook group. Welcome again, welcome everyone. We are starting in just a minute or so. Welcome Marion. Welcome, Lisa. Welcome, thank everyone. You, thank you. Thank you. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Karibu sana. Thank you. Just giving people just one or two minutes, then we can progress. Yeah, I think we'll just start and uh, others will join us as we go along. Checking on Facebook whether we have, uh, we are live. Yes, we are. It's not two minutes past time, so we will just proceed for the others who had registered. I believe they'll join us as we go along. All right, all right, all right. Karibu sana and welcome to today's session. I'm super excited today. I will be welcoming people on Zoom as they come in. And I can see we are live on uh, Facebook. It's working pretty well. All right. So um, today's session is our second session on Be Unlimited uh, Challenge. This is a 12 month challenge and uh, we'll be having it every uh, or rather every two weeks. That is twice a month as we go along. And the purpose for this session is to ensure that we are as, as a, you know, um, be unlimited team or fab life team we are able to share our ideas on business and everything that we do and as you've seen from the uh, first page the our session today is about uh, lead uh, how to convert lead into paying clients which is most important for most business owners because those are some of the questions that actually we've been getting why is it that um we are not able to make money. And some of the reasons is because perhaps the leads that you have are not actually converting to paying clients. Um, the other thing that we'll be discussing is that uh, what is this Be Unlimited all about, right? And uh, for this year, 2023, we have a topic and that is thrive despite the odds. Why I say that is because uh, many are the times that you try to, you know, to make money, to build your business, to get customers, to get accountability partners, to even look for those clients online, but somehow it becomes a challenge. So this year we'll just say thrive despite the odds, just jikaze, you know, work harder, look for uh, partners or people you can work with, people who can actually even mentor you, provide you with the necessary information that you need to be able to uh, you know, continue. 
But before I go ahead, let me first uh, introduce myself. My name is Lucy Munga. I'm a business uh, coach or and I mainly focus on startups, that is uh, businesses that are uh, five years or less old or even people who are starting businesses. Majority of the people I've been working with are those who are still employed and want to start a business, but somehow they are not leaving the employment or they are leaving, but they do not know where to start or they left a year or two ago and they are wondering what happened. I thought I was told there was money. In fact, recently someone told me that when she uh, actually took early retirement, she was told there's money online. She spent two years now since uh, she took that early retirement. She cannot see that money online. And some of those questions will be answering them as we go along. So as a business coach, those are some of the things that I help you, uh, you know, unpack so that uh, you are able now to, uh, to, to build and to, to move to the next level because it, business is no longer the same. Uh, a majority of people are online, you know, uh, many years ago, there were no phones, so definitely you had to meet people physically, but right now you can actually get people online, you know, so long as you have a phone or a computer. So my work is just to help you organize your thoughts in a way that your avatar or your ideal customer can be able to find you and should be able to pay you and for the services uh, that, that you offer. Um, so, and this Be Unlimited challenge uh, just started uh, this year, in fact, this month of April, uh, and we shall go on until end of the year and we'll be meeting twice a, a month um, just uh, to ensure that we encourage each other, we help each other, we've been getting clients, we can even give each other referrals if possible, um, and, and so on and so forth, so that uh, we uh, support each other. So I will be admitting people here, yeah, there are a few people still con joining us, and uh, welcome everyone who is joining even at this time. We haven't done so much, but we are still going on with introductions. So in the meantime, uh, you can actually type in the comment section. If you're on Facebook, type on a Facebook uh, page there in the comment section, maybe your name, what you expect from today's session. As I said, it's the, uh, the topic for today is uh, we'll be covering about lead generation and how to convert those leads into paying customers. And the theme for this year is thrive despite all the odds. What that means is that if you're employed or if you are looking for a business or you don't have the money, there are many different ways that you can share your knowledge and be able to get paid. And therefore, I'm looking for those questions if you can type them so that we can be responding them as we go along. So I'd started describing then why be unlimited challenge. Um, one thing I want to believe is that everybody has something that they can sell. They have something that they know, they love to do it, they enjoy doing it. And perhaps the challenge has been, how do I package what I know into something that I can, I can sell and make money? And uh, most people say that perhaps what I enjoy doing maybe cannot sell, but it all depends perhaps with how you package it and how you make your potential client believe and see that it's value for money. Because I think uh, we are so used to giving a lot for free. There's nothing wrong with giving for free, especially if you want to be known in the market. Sometimes it's important to actually share some knowledge that you have for free. And um, once people get to know you, then it's important you package what you're offering for free into something that can be bought, you know, that something that someone can actually buy. And, and I think that is where the main challenge is. How do I then, do I then package what I have to, to be able to sell it? But uh, today, um, since we are not covering that particular part, we are only covering then how do you even find that person who will buy it in the first place? Okay, you know what, you, you assume you, you're good in music and you want to sell your music. The question is, how do I sell my music? And how do I even package that music for someone to buy? Yeah. So that, those are uh, some of the questions that we'll be responding to today. And I can see there are a lot more people joining here. I want to welcome them. All right. Yes, let's go ahead. And um, the other question uh, is that um, whatever you have could be a talent, a gift, and or maybe you even like helping people. A lot of us like to help people. But in that what we like to help people with, that's what I'm talking about. You need to package it. 
and in the process of helping people then you can also make money because you cannot give 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 without also receiving there is you know you can get exhausted somewhere along the way the other item that i have seen a lot of people having is the fear fear of what will people say i have never done this before how will i make it and in fact some of the people when i tell them let's now go online and you're going to do a webinar for your business they say oh my goodness I have never done this before and I tell them no we can go online and you will be able to do this webinar and you will speak to the people that we've already invited and sometimes when, like for the live session we're having today when you invite so many people and they have already come and you're starting to feel worried do not worry because you know there's nothing that was ever perfect the first time it was done and and one thing I've always said is that just go out there be bold and do it for the first time I remember last year when we had our Be Unlimited Africa Summit, which had so much attendance. Actually, we have a, over 200 people who registered. There were a few of the speakers who had never done that before. And from then on, I have seen a few of them. They have since gone online and they have been speaking to their clients because they felt that actually that experience was definitely an exciting experience. And they were able to to, to be more bold and to get the courage and the confidence that they needed. Um, so, and the other thing is that you need to know that you need to add value for people to actually start paying. So uh, the value that you add is what needs to actually come out prominently that this is a value that I will add and therefore you need, you can buy from me. So be unlimited challenge is to encourage you that do not you know um continue fearing or just get up and be bold and get over the, the fear or the limitations or the doubts that you have about yourself and start speaking to people about what you can offer start offering perhaps for free and then you you can go ahead all right so the be unlimited challenge that as i said is for us to be able to encourage each other and to build uh, our businesses so starting on today's topic about lead generation strategies all right so what is lead generation the this is the action or the process of identifying and cultivating potential customers for a business product or a service all right so it's when you go out there and people don't exactly know you and you start speaking to them and letting them know that actually you you have something to offer and what happens if I can display this on uh, on, on the screen is that um, let's look at this particular item here. When it comes to generating leads, you need to remember that people who do not know you, we call them, you know, uh, th that a cold audience. All right. It's an audience that is starting to see you or hear you for the first time. So when you're building your business, you need to have some strategies of converting that cold audience into a warm audience. A warm audience is somebody who has seen you and heard you several times, and most likely perhaps they are considering to start buying something from you because perhaps you've been speaking about it and they have seen you two, three times. And therefore the challenge of targeting that cold audience and converting that cold audience into a warm audience requires you to speak more and to keep um someone is saying that the session has been disconnected uh can you hear me can everyone hear me if you can comment in the comment section i'm getting a message here that the session is disconnected uh maybe you can check from your end marion um it's okay, oh, okay. now but it's been disconnected twice um from my end so i was just wondering whether i'm the only one oh, Thank all right. you. perfect perfect okay let's go ahead so when it comes to generating leads that means that uh person who requires your services but perhaps didn't know initially that you can offer that service is a matter of either going online or using various tools to be able to capture their attention it could be your online and they you capture their attention online or you you know in a meeting or in a webinar like this one that what we are doing whatever it is that you need to do to be able to capture their 
their attention. And once they see that there is value that you're offering, then they'll start converting into a warm client. And a warm client sometimes even may buy something of, 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 of small value, a $1, a $10 product. And then once they taste it, yeah, let's say you're a teacher or you're a lecturer, once they taste your content and they like it, perhaps they will become a hot client. And a hot client may even, even come for a full course if you're you a lecturer or if you've been teaching. They may even come for a course and they pay quite a bit of money. Uh, uh, and, and that way, <clears throat> always remember that you're, flow, you're, you're encouraging your clients to follow through this particular customer who comes over and over again and buys more and more of your products as you go along. Um, and then uh, from there, you they become your promoters because if you've been offering good products and services then eventually they'll become your promoters and they can even invite their friends and family who require your services and to to, to buy your products so i have a comment here from marion uh, marion you're saying that um oh yeah you are family and trauma therapist and uh symb is premarital assessment facilitator Yes, uh, so Marion, yes, this is a service, actually, you've already identified what you can do, and therefore, um, if you package it, or perhaps you have already packaged it, maybe the next thing is about how do I get enough clients to be able to, to offer the services and they pay enough for me to be able to sustain the business, yeah, or I, I don't know, you can also comment or even speak up and tell us perhaps what one major challenge you've been experiencing in converting a lead into a, a paying client. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I want to offer this premarital. It simply means saving your marriage before it starts. Yes. So I'm a premarital assessment um, facilitator in, in that. So I've been, I've been doing a lot of the other work, like trauma therapist and all that, but now I want to major on premarital assessment. So my problem has been, where do I start? How do I get those clients? Yeah, thank you. Oh, fantastic. So this is a very important session for you. It's, yes, uh, this is actually a challenge that is experienced by a lot of people when they come from employment or when they are starting a business from wherever they're coming from, how do I get my own clients? And there are various ways uh, to do that. And, and I said, it's uh, what we have on the screen is about converting that cold client into a warm client. But the, the first issue of what you're asking is about even this cold client, where is this cold client? Uh, according to statistics, let me first uh, give you a different uh, statistics. Only 2% of the people you meet the first time will buy from you. So what that means is that of the 100 people that you meet the first time, only two will purchase from you the first time they meet you. And that is why I, I mentioned in a few minutes before that you need to ensure that this particular person who you've met for the first time hears you more than twice, thrice and fifth time because Statistics also say that from the seventh time is, is, is now this is the rule of seven from the seventh time is when a cold is, is when now 80% of clients start purchasing from you. Yeah, so the question is, how do you keep a cold client interested enough to visit you or to, to come and, and watch you more than seven times so that they can convert into a paying client. And those are the, the strategies that we teach in our uh, Be Unlimited or even in our Fab Life. What are the strategies that you can use to ensure that this person comes second time, third time, seventh time, and that time they can give you some money because they have had, you know, you offering value in all these many times. And one of the ways to do that is to ensure that you capture the details of that person who came for the first time so that you're able to invite them for the second session, you're able to invite them for the third session until the seventh session. And that is where most uh, startups fail. They bring in so many people, they talk to them. After that, after dispersing them, they cannot even tell 
where these people went and how to even invite them the second time. It's just like if you open a physical shop, let's say on the streets, you know, in, in, in town, the, the customer comes in, looks at your products in your shop, and then you don't even get to know the name of this person. You don't even capture their name or the, you know, the phone number or, you know, or record it somewhere so that when you have whatever they are looking for, you can text them and tell them now the stock has come. But you'll find that most people actually, they do capture that. But I think for people offering services, lecturers, trainers, coaches, sometimes you don't keep that particular database. And it, that is one of the reasons that, that uh, make people fail. That's number one. Number two, remember that um, when you offer value and people uh, recommend you, uh, you get clients faster. So which is this community that you belong to, whereby people can speak about you, about the services that you offered and what they experienced about them, yeah? So that they can also give you some referrals because of the service that you offered. So, uh, you know, um, group like this one, Be Unlimited, is very, very important because it uh, helps you build that particular community. Because once you're in that community, you're able also to, to express yourself, ask questions, share your even the challenges that you have in that you know in the group and then you're able now to get people also sharing the experiences and at the same time understanding what you do and the more people hear what you do the better the third item that i see as a challenge is where most businesses actually when you go one month two months five months and you haven't gotten one client people start giving up giving up is not allowed in any business especially when you're starting the first few months or even up to a whole year you may find that it will really be a challenge but if you keep ticking the no's that you get yeah you write the name and say this person said a no and this one said a no and i always say no means next opportunity the more people hear about you the more people the more the opportunities that you get for those people speaking about you for me i've gotten clients from people who have never heard me because they have attended some of these free sessions and they have also told their friends, oh, I had so-and-so speaking about this and that. I've gotten a lot of business out of people who have never bought from me. So getting a no doesn't mean that you have lost business. It all means that there is another opportunity. And so those people you've been speaking to could potentially even go and speak about it to other people because they, they had something and they carried away something. Yeah. So never be discouraged just because that person you are speaking to didn't buy. Just keep writing the names down and tick and say, now I'm on a hundred and after a hundred, two of those a hundred should actually be able to, to, to buy because I've spoken to them at least once. But if you keep the database of those a hundred and they're able now to come the second time to your session and the third time, they'll definitely buy eventually. So never, ever, ever, ever give up or never get discouraged. In fact, all you do is try and get a lot of feedback from those people who are actually visiting you or who are asking questions and that feedback take it very seriously. That is what they are looking for. Because what you sell is not exactly what you know, it's what they want, yeah? It's, it's what, they, what is this they want from me is what you should package so that they buy. Because sometimes, again, we sell what we think is good, but it's not exactly 100% what exactly they, they are looking for. So yes, so it's a matter of, uh, I don't know, Marion, I have, have I answered you? Yes, you have. And I'm encouraged to know that I'm not the only one who has been feeling doubtful and, and concerned. And I'm like, when will I take off? Thank you for that. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. The other thing I want to show you is about people buy from people they know, they like, and they trust. Let's break down this particular statement. People may know you. How many people know you? A lot of people know you, your relatives, the people you went to school with, people you went to college with, they know you. But will they buy? Not 100%, but they need to be moved to the next level of like. How do people get to like you? It's what the experience of you, of your services, of your personality, because people don't buy your services because they like the services it's because they like you as a person yeah so it's you and your products and services 
they have they must gel with that potential client and the moment they buy something small maybe something worth two dollars or 200 kenya shillings they start trusting it and then they come back for the bigger wholesale or the bigger product that you're, you're selling so you, you always remember the moment people get to know you for the first time you need to ensure that you keep in touch so that they can start liking you and then eventually when they start trusting you they'll come for your products and services and they will recommend those products and services to other people so this is a very very small statement but very critical so it's very important to know that having visibility is is key how often do you use your social media what do you use your social media for how do you use your facebook your instagram your youtube your whatsapp what are you posting there is it just forwards about politics or what are you doing with it because that phone that you're using has costed money how can it give you some value for your money It's by using it to market something all right yesterday i i took my uh, my daughters and, uh, and her friend just to visit a real estate agent and to hear what, what does real estate have to offer and my 14 year old said oh my i've been watching these things online and it's all american but now i'm seeing it locally i can experience it locally and and she was very excited this is what real estate in our country looks like but our conversation was about for them to hear if you're buying a property what is this all about and i let them just as, ask as many questions as possible right and um what i'm trying to say also here is that um as, as we go ahead, also let's mentor the people who are coming behind us because you never know that daughter of yours or that son of yours might speak to somebody who will refer somebody to you. So also let's be open to our families and our children and also help help ourselves by, by mentoring them because again, they are speaking the language. So be visible wherever, whenever. Uh, and don't limit yourself like this child may not understand what I do. They will understand and they will talk about it and maybe the, the, that child's friend parent may require actually that 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 uh, service yeah the other one is to step out of your comfort zone and get noticed remember when you're stepping out of your comfort zone uh oh yeah i mean inviting others when you're stepping out of your comfort zone that means you may have made a mistake i remember one of my clients the first time uh, she went online uh, to do some webinars um that webinar didn't come out 100%, right? The way she, she wanted it. But the second time we worked together and the second time she got 300 people registered for her webinar. Actually, there were, there were around 150 that were registered, but the day of the webinar, about 300 were dialed in. We had to quickly even stream that particular session online because we didn't have, you know, the Zoom didn't have the capacity to get the 300 online. And we had to direct a lot of people online so that they can actually attend that particular session. So you can imagine the first one didn't work out, but within a month, 30 days, we were able to re to learn from what went long, wrong and we were able to get a whole 300 people attending that particular webinar. So never, ever give up. And also, step out of your comfort zone also means that don't do just what you've always done before sometimes that is what is not working yeah because maybe you've been teaching a certain subject and maybe that is what you know for the last 10 years people have received it as the best thing on earth but if you do some more research you may find some things you've never done that may be important and maybe you're so scared to bring them on board because you've never done them before go online and do it and, and even be honest with your people and say this is the first time I'm doing this, so just ask me questions so that I can refine it. Being honest with your people also brings a lot of trust. And also just always know that when you're too perfect, also people don't relate with you. The mistakes you make are, is what actually make people relate with you and even trust you and even see your authenticity and your honesty. Because you're saying, yeah, this is my first time I'm doing this and please give me feedback to refine it and I will invite you the second time after I refine it. So being visible, getting out of your comfort zone and also start creating the future you want now. The, the first thing you start doing is where do I want to be in 10 years and then start visualizing it now. 
if you want to have built a hospital because you just graduated as a doctor i have actually one of um i don't know whether she's joined today but last time she joined at a young doctor and she's really doing things and, and i'm so encouraged yeah because the future she is seeing i think she's about 26 the future she is seeing is what she's building now and and we're working towards it right so always try to figure out try to get people read online when you hear someone talking something similar to what you'd like to do get in touch get their phone number get their email talk to them offer free services in fact the more you offer free services the better all right and uh, you just need to know where is this that i can offer my free service because i'll be able to get visibility because visibility is the key we've just said that of the 100 people who see you the first time two will buy but where do you get this 100 if you don't get online and you don't get to to work with people who can give help you give you that visibility so it's a matter of getting those uh, people you can work with to be able to get their visibility like for example marion you've just talked about therapy and um your services you could most likely get uh referrals from parents so which are these online places or which are these uh parents that you're contacting or talking to and are you getting new ones every day every month because sometimes you get even a pool of 50 people but they never come back yeah they listen to you once they never come back they listen to you once they don't come back so you can't keep talking to the same same people it's always good to always continue getting uh newer people every time yeah yes lillian thanks so much free services are the best kept secret yes i, I always say you will need to know when to give a free service and when to charge that is something we give in our mentorship uh, uh, services whereby when is this time i give a free service and how does that free service lead me into offering a paying service where someone can buy it cannot just be free service every time but free services are very important but should lead you into those uh, converting those particular people who have viewed you to to buying but you got to give the value you have to touch their lives yeah we just said you must convert somebody who knows you into somebody who likes you and then into somebody who will trust you with the services or the products that you're offering it's it's a start those are steps that you need to follow yeah and always remember there are people who will not like you why maybe you're a competition maybe they think that uh, they know you since you're in high school and maybe in high school you are never top class yeah so they're saying what is this person telling me and when we were 15 years old she was always the last person right there are people who will not like you they'll even come to your online media uh, your online uh, space and start making negative comments do not delete those negative comments what it tells you is that actually they're listening to you and more often than not those are people who can even come and buy one of your most expensive products or services those ones who are giving you negative comments it's because they're admiring you and it's because they're seeing this value you're offering and because they wish they were you so the minute you go online and start speaking about your products and services is critical and it's the most important thing that you can ever do to yourself visibility and speak as many times as possible because the other thing you realize is that sometimes we think what we are offering is simple and and people should know no most people don't know so even if it looks so easy and people should have understood what it is it's not that simple even for a doctor speaking about malaria we've had malaria in you know in africa for the longest time you simplify that topic as much as possible to an extent that uh, someone who has never heard of malaria will, will be able to understand what it is all about yeah so speak to, uh, on as many topics as possible and never be shy to feel like people if i speak about you know a, a solution to a certain problem will these people come to buy from me they will because one question you can ask yourself is how come people go to a a class to be taught how to cook yet they can go to youtube and you know just watch someone who is cooking and and make the meal why do they end up going to class and and pay money for that yet there's so much information people will always come to you because they want for, for people to understand what what they need to know they need a very structured way from introduction to you know to the next step 
to the up to the advanced section once information is not structured in a certain way they may not actually um be able to understand it on youtube because it's all scattered and they cannot connect the dots so as a teacher you're able now to help them connect the dots and that is why they will pay you so just share as much information as as, as possible and uh, as dan has said yes free information is is very very key right um the other item i wanted to talk about is let me just put my slides up again do we have any questions so far you can type in the comments as we go along this is something we've just talking about because the first thing as you convert an, a cold client to a warm client a cold client is actually a, a stranger yeah it's someone who is maybe just landed on your what you are doing and then they just started you know seeing what you're doing and, and that that's why they they stopped yeah so you want to create some sort of awareness by sharing some good material then you attract them and then through outreach you can convert those leads into potential customers and then close i think we've um, we, we've talked about that the closing part now the conversion to closing to into a customer is is um first of all it, it's based on uh, a, a potential customer's feelings one mistake i think we made we make is describing the characteristics of a product if you're selling selling let's say a shoe and you're starting to describe the color of the shoe and uh, you know the shoelaces that may not actually convert a client but if you describe that shoe on how the customer will feel by wearing that shoe how comfortable they will feel they can run in it how you know the durability because you know that that brings the issue of uh, saving the money and and you know the, the feeling is what actually makes the customer buy not the characteristic or the of, of the product or the service so closing a customer actually it's something else we deal with in deeper in detail depending on the type of clients that you have but always remember uh, touch the feelings of the potential customer and uh, you'll be able to close the deals all right so finding leads you can find them either online on google on linkedin on facebook on whatever whatsapp what you said is that that gadget you're holding make with the best use of it make sure that it brings you money yeah before you buy the next version of that gadget or even the computer that you're using right and uh, you can also outsource the lead generation work uh, outsourcing that means for example in our company which is amara capital you can outsource to us and you tell us i want these leads of this type yeah and then we'll help you actually get those leads yeah and uh, the tools we discuss all those tools during the paid uh, be unlimited uh challenge uh okay what i spoke about there is that there is um these particular sessions this year are, are free but they'll reach up time when we start charging and in that charging is where we'll train you now in deeper which are these tools that you're going to use how do you use them how do you integrate them into your business and into your systems so that you're able to to use the tools to generate those those leads it is getting visible because you have that computer you can build a landing page lp is a landing page and therefore you convert that particular client into your uh into in, in your your potential client you put that potential client into your database and this is what I was talking about by capturing their email, their phone number and everything. And from there, you're able to convert them into, into income, into money by actually through emails or through even WhatsApp messages and so on and so forth. Right. Do you have any questions so far? Still waiting for some questions. Let me check on uh, Facebook. All right. Um, my Facebook is here. I cannot see a question. So, but if you have a question, uh, you can ask. Today's session is not long. These sessions are usually not too long, so that uh... all right. So let me go ahead. If there is no question, oh, there's still people joining at this time. No problem. 
think this is recorded online it's on our facebook group so if you're joining late i've just seen uh, someone join uh you can still go into the facebook uh group it's um amara capital fab life group i'll share the link uh yeah on the comment section in zoom and also you'll get an email with that, with that link as well later all right so why do people get stuck because sometimes you say that i'm trying the business and i'm not moving i'm stuck why because sometimes people have no idea where to start and they procrastinate and even give up when you don't know where to start look for a coach or a mentor look for somebody who can actually or even someone who is in that business who is a bit ahead of you a few steps ahead of you and and you know just ask questions right and as i said earlier i'm a business startup coach so i and it doesn't matter what business you're in i'll give you good ideas on where to start so just link up with me and i'll be able to help you out on on that you can join our be unlimited uh, you know challenge yeah which happens will be happening going forward every two weeks there's a session and in those sessions you're able to ask questions right the other one is about uh, the other problem people have when why they get stuck is uh, they do not like selling and are clueless about closing deals you know the other thing you also need to understand is that people don't like being sold to think of that person you meet on the street selling to you insurance do you even ever look at them twice most likely not people don't like being sold to but there is a strategy that particular person who is selling insurance can use to attract you so that you approach them and ask about a certain package insurance package giving those business cards on the malls uh, is, is, is an old strategy uh, now, nowadays it doesn't really work but there's a, a different way of doing it yeah um but and also people don't like selling because they know the rejection that comes with the with selling because nobody wants to be rejected but let me tell you when you get into business you have to be friends with the word rejection because there are many no's that you will get but you just have to be resilient. You have to be confident with what you're doing. If you're confident about your product or service, I'm telling you, those no's will not even affect you. You'll just say, okay, that one said no, it's next opportunity, go and look for the next person. And as you speak to as many people as possible, you may start seeing people who saw you last year, 12 months ago, coming back and saying, I have come and I've even come with my friend. They're even buying, they're even buying two items of what you're selling. Right. The third item is about people getting stuck in a rat race. That is no one to ask, no accountability, no teamwork. And this is what I was talking about. The Be Unlimited Challenge is a good environment for you to, to have some teamwork, an accountability session where perhaps we can be given feedback. And also you can track whether you're, you're, you're making progress or not. Yeah, because the first thing we do at the beginning of the year is to set our goals, financial goals, uh, market growth goals, you know, whatever goals you want to set, you set them at the beginning of the year. And then as we go ahead, because it's every two weeks that you're meeting, you'll be checking, am I on track? Am I not on track? Am I sleeping on the job or not? Yeah. So that accountability is, is, is very key because again, it gives you, you know, some push. And as you find other people saying, oh yes, I'm actually ahead of my, my plan. I think I need to multiply this revenue target that I put because I've achieved it within six months. So I need to, to do something because, yeah, but before end of the year. So that particular push, accountability within the team, the teamwork, the encouragement, and the, you know, in a place where you can also get ideas and, and you hear people sharing their, their issues and, and, and getting support on, on, on responding, right? So if we don't have any questions so far, perhaps we can talk about, um, there are two packages that uh, we offer. That is, uh, I said, our company is Amara Capital Limited. And this particular program is called Be Unlimited Challenge because you are challenging yourself within the year to be able to, to go ahead. So we have two types of offers. But before I describe them, I'm trying to see whether I have any questions, comments, anywhere. All right. So what we do offer is one-to-one -one coaching where if let's say you're starting a business, you come in and uh, a few people who've taken the one-to-one -one coaching are mainly those ones who 
who are completely stuck at the beginning. They are, they are not making revenue at all, actually. Yeah, they could have tried one or twice. They, maybe they have an idea of what they need to do. Yeah, your teacher, lecturer, your, your musician, you're an artist. Yeah, we sit together and we start crafting what products and services can you sell? What does the market need? Again, you need to assess what your market needs. Eh? You cannot just create something in your little cube and think people will buy. You need to understand if it's music, what kind of music do they want, right? And, and, and I'm also able to, to, to deliver that music because it's not, you cannot offer any, any music. You cannot be a register and at the same time, you're a Christian gospel singer and whatever. You need to actually find out what your audience may want to be able to create that which they want based on your capabilities and your skills and your talents and what and what you're gifted in and what you can do and match the two and then now you start packaging that so this is a whole process that takes place in one-to-one -one coaching minimum it takes about three months to actually get it you know off yeah because remember most people have an idea on, of what they can do but how you package it and start delivering it to the audience or the potential audience is a whole different game right and you have to really uh build it in such a way that it will attract customers we said we don't sell we attract those potential customers so how do you attract people to come to you that delivery model also takes time to to build the other uh type of uh, service that we offer is group coaching or mentorship and this is one of them that is be unlimited challenge is actually the mentorship session because even if you take three months or six months to build your business that is not all you may need now the check and challenge as you go along and that is why we have this yearly uh membership be unlimited challenge sessions so that once you join them you're able now to to get other support from 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 the group all right so today we have um, be a limited challenge is a membership session this is what i've talked about and it's a group coaching and mentorship session because from here you take away something that you can implement like for example today we are talking about generating leads and converting those leads and i think there's some ideas if you have written on notes that you can take home and the way it runs this one is a 12 months membership challenge and it's an accountability program and it gives you some business development in initiatives that you can use on your business and you learn from successful entrepreneurs because we'll be having even speakers who have made it in life who can come and speak to us so that we can also learn from them because it's easier to learn from somebody who has made the mistakes and will tell you how they made the mistakes and what they could have done better so that you also move faster there's also training coaching mentorship and also being given the visibility online through the be unlimited africa events um I spoke about last year's uh, Be Unlimited Summit, where we had, it was a four day session. We had 16 speakers. We had over 200, uh, you know, attendees that actually listened to us. And some of them have actually come to us and said, now I would want this service or give me a link to this so-and-so who presented this particular program. And, and we refer them to, to those people who presented different um, sessions. And, and there's a paid version. The paid version now comes to with a lot of more things that gives you actually even the tools and procedures on how you can implement everything that we, we cover in these sessions. Yeah, even you, uh, a Facebook uh, or whatever, a website can be built for you, personalized mentorship, exclusive visibility to our businesses, and also referral systems and mentions on our platforms, investment opportunities. Yeah, and also you become a VIP in our Be Unlimited uh africa sessions and also discounts on our products and services all right as you can see on the right hand side there is a flyer there and it's also talking the program structure it has a starter an accelerator and a thrive because a starter is when you're just starting your business what are these things you need to put in place and once you put them in place you need to accelerate so that you can start making money and finally when you're thriving is perhaps maybe even when you're outsourcing some of your services and sometimes even selling some franchise because you have reached a level whereby you're making money and you need more hands and perhaps you can onboard maybe read if you if you if you're actually selling a, a product maybe you can get wholesalers and retailers for your particular product 
at Thrive level because at the starting you'll be doing it yourself. And and always I, I say the reason why I start uh, small is because I always say that do not be worried if you do not have money to start a business. Just ensure you have an idea and your and that idea you you really want to offer it to people and you want to help people achieve something. We will build this business and you'll build the money. Do not worry if you have zero money. There's a way to make money even when you have zero to start off with. It's a matter of just um, being, you know, courageous enough to start. All right. So today I have an offer for you. Okay. That will give you more details on what we've been talking about. It's about sales lead generation strategies and it's an ebook. Yeah. What we've talked about is just part of it. I think the ebook is about 30 pages so that you should be able to get all the details of what you talked about, all the strategies that you can use to build your business or to be able to attract clients. If we do not have any questions, we can go into that and then close the session. Right? I can't see any questions. Yes, Lisa. Uh, good morning. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a lot of new um, careers and uh, business niches that weren't required previously. For example, I am a social media manager and mm -hmm. a lot a lot of old companies and um, people who used the old ways of marketing don't understand the necessity of uh, bringing your business online, like on social media, the importance of having Twitter, Twitter spaces, Instagram and such, because in my opinion, it's the, easy, it's the fastest and one of the easiest ways to get your business out there and be known while still, you know, it's quite more affordable than printing flyers and going out there and giving out to people and all that. It's It creates more awareness, but there's a lot of people who still don't understand the importance. So how do you get people to understand how important it, it is to have a social media money in your company? And how do you make them understand there's a difference between a social media manager and a marketer, a PR person? How do you go about that? Thank you. Oh, thanks so much, Lisa, for that question. In fact, I can see your comment that you put here. Lisa is an architecture student and also a social media manager. Congratulations, because in campus and you're already starting your own business is the best thing that you can ever do. It's some, uh, something we didn't have as we were starting off. But when I see some of you starting, and also you're an artist and a graphic designer, your question is about social media manager. And so many businesses require this service, but somehow are not coming for it. Perhaps they have not understood what is social media manager? What does a social media manager do? And how can they get that benefit from their, you know, to their business? Because one question I've got uh, from a lot of people who come to our sessions is, is social media management just about throwing flyers onto WhatsApp? You see, because maybe that is all they see and the people they have actually contracted only do some 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 flyers and they're just posting from WhatsApp to WhatsApp to WhatsApp. There's a lot more. Let me tell you, everybody who is listening today, there's a lot more that goes into social media management. And because 90% of human beings and 99% of human beings who can buy your products or services actually have a phone and a phone that is can actually go online to various social media spaces is extremely important. If you do not have that capacity to create that visibility to actually hire someone like Lisa to support you in building that visibility, because that visibility is not only those flyers, it's part of it, flyers are part of it, but there is a lot more when we are you know, attracting those leads and converting those leads into paying customers. There's a lot more that goes into it. And a social media manager like Lisa, who has all the time in her hands, can actually support you to build, you know, that visibility we are talking about. Bring, you know, clients or potential clients closer to you. 
and once they come closer to you or rather when she does what she does and then like mario now they come closer to you and then you're able now to convert them because you're the one who has a detail on what therapy actually is all about and how, how that can help and um in fact if i just give uh, mario since you asked that question if i give example in your in your business therapy is something that is so required nowadays in, in in the whole world not just in kenya so your business is actually not local it's actually international so your business actually needs to be online and needs to attract clients from all over i was telling somebody the other day that i i, I got clients i have clients to uh, in, in about five or six countries myself right and it's all about coaching and mentorship because it's a service even a product, one of my clients who does coffee, products, you can, uh, uh, you know, you can also have your, your clients out of the country. So my client who has coffee is also exporting to various countries because she has created visibility, right? So what I'm trying to say is that you're, in this current age and time, you are not limited to how many of the 8 billion people in the world that you can, you, you, you can attract to your, to your business. You're not limited at all because of the tools that are available and they are the tools that you can actually manage and, and be able to, to use. And some tools are actually free. Yeah, you just download them and configure them to work in your business and even integrate them into your website and whatever. And, and again, the other thing I was talking to someone yesterday, website is not everything. Website is just one of the tools that you can use to actually speak to people who want to visit you about what you do. But that is not all. And it cannot just sit there on its own. It's got to, you've got to find a way of, a, of driving traffic, you know, traffic into that website. Because majority of people who have websites, the websites are just sitting there. But there's a, a strategy that you can use to actually drive traffic into that particular website to ensure that people are reading and they're seeing you and they're, they're, they're starting to understand what you do and how, how different your services are from maybe somebody who gave them poor services in the same area. Because remember, there are so many people who are doing what you're doing, but some are not offering good services as you are doing, right? That's number one. Number two, there's no way you can offer products and services that have never been offered before. That means then they're not required. So the more competitors you have, the better. That means that that market has clients. Yeah. And, and, and therefore, you just need to also understand what are the competition doing and how can I do it differently? And that difference that you do, that extra that you do, that is different from your competition, again, is the one that attracts potential clients to you and, and even bring to your, to your desktop so that you can start, or rather, so that you can build your business. All right? Okay. Um, I have a question uh, mm -hmm. for Lisa and also for you. Yes, uh, yes what we, we don't know is who are these social managers? What do they offer? What does it cost? You know, how, for how long do we need them? You know, so if we can know that, then it's possible to see and compare notes um, as we get to know who we can trust. So we need information. I'm speaking um, for myself and I know for many others. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. And welcome, Alice. Oh, I, I hadn't noticed. Um, Thanks, thanks, Marion, for that question. So what we can do, because this session is a, an awareness session where you just understand the various ways you can actually convert your leads to, to paying clients. What we can do for you, Marion, is uh, we'll have, a, I can connect you to Lisa so that you can um, sit down and then she breaks down for you what each service is all about. Remember, even if you're designing flyers, for example, they're not just working on their own. There is a process how social media management practice works for you to for it to be able to help you convert your you know your potential clients to paying clients so it's, it's what you can do is uh, have maybe a session separately so that you're give, you're, you're given all the details um on or to various aspects of social media media management kind of of, of work and how it works yeah Thank so you. yeah so i'll connect you with lisa so that you can uh, pick up or even you can chat out so that you can share your your phone numbers right now in fact when you're on this session it's good to chat somebody so that you can get you know you can book a session yeah if it's lisa social media management 
um, you can just chat out, you exchange numbers. Daniel is a software and web developer. Uh, how do you convince a client that a website is different from social media platform? Excellent, 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 Daniel. Yes, Daniel also can actually develop a website for you, right? And um, the question Daniel is asking, how do you convince a client that a website is different from social media platform? It's a matter of education. All these, all these terminologies are used all over, but um, to get the actual description of what is social media and what is a website and how do they relate, how do they work together, and that this is not the other, it's a matter of providing that particular training. So perhaps for Daniel, since you're a software and web developer, uh, the type of business also, yes, Daniel, thanks so much for asking. Daniel has just graduated, I think, a few months ago, if I'm not wrong. Uh, so he's also a young person just like Lisa, and they're keen to build a business. And what Daniel is saying, as a developer, right, he would want to educate you about websites, about social media platforms. And maybe even Daniel and Lisa can work together. As Daniel does his techie work, Lisa is also doing his, her social media work. And, and, you know, this is how you actually start building <laughs> collaboration. And because with collaboration, you're able to, to build a business and, and, and even uh, exchange ideas. Yes, so Daniel, this is again about education. If you can actually package a training, even if it's a one, a one hour training, to be able to educate people about in your web development world, what does that involve? When you're developing a website, what does that involve? I remember somebody, <laughs> Yes, because in our business, actually, as you de as if you are a new client, we also he help you deliver, deliver websites, yeah? And uh, one client told me, Lucy, you know the business we are in, just make a good website. And I was like, no. And, and what I told him was, if you walk into a tailor, do you just look at the tailor and say, you know me since I was young, make the best suit for the wedding. You know me, you even know what I like. No, you got to go in there, select your material, select the style, give that tailor the, an idea of what you want to wear in the, for that wedding. What colors, what's the color scheme, what, you know, you cannot just tell, actually, so, uh, it's very true, not too long ago, maybe a month ago. Someone told me, you know us, you know our business, build a website for us that works. <laughs> that one, that, that one caught me, you know, it, it made me, understand that what we think people know they don't yeah someone like daniel who's been in techie and a developer and you know for this time may, may think that people understand what is a website no people don't and and even when they tell you to build a website they think you can imagine it the way they they, they imagine it it's like you can read their mind no they have to spell out exactly what do they want to achieve with this website don't just build a website. What do you want to achieve? For example, if you're selling shoes, is it that you want to sell shoes or is it that you just want people to know about shoes? You know, they're like a generic website. Or is it that you want a portal where people can click and buy a shoe and be able to see the size, the shape, the type and buy that shoe? So you got to, to have all, all that detail. So again, Daniel, I'd advise you to work on a, on a training that you know brings that awareness and explains to people what it's all about and emphasize more on the types of websites that can convert potential clients to paying clients because there are some websites that are just like a vague they don't tell you anything when a client a potential client visits they don't understand anything but daniel will be able to explain to you these websites can convert these ones will not convert to, to uh, you know, someone to uh, a visitor to a client. Yeah, thanks so much. Dan. This has been a fantastic session. So maybe I can go to the next uh, item that I wanted to show you uh, in terms of what is this then I'm offering today. I hope you can see on the screen. Okay. Um, 
All right, so I have an offer for you, and this is uh, just an ebook. And uh, just to go to the next screen, this ebook, you just go to this link here. It's on amaracampus.com. And you should be able to get it for just uh, $7 instead of $11 or 685 shillings. And I will post this particular link. I think this link has a small error here. Let me just change it so that um, it's a small error in the way it's typed. So that you can get the correct link. And for those on Zoom, I'll put it in the comment section. Wow, I have someone joining at this point. Um, no problem. If, if you're on Zoom, it's actually there. I've uh, just pasted it. And uh, if you're not on Zoom on Facebook, I will actually paste it in a short while. So it's in amarabasket.com, F O 4 O. And you need to use this particular code, a discount code of REW50. It's only valid today. And once you have that book, it's about 30 pages, you'll get all the details about how you can convert your leads to paying clients. So with only Kenya shillings 685, you should be able to get that ebook. If you want to join our Amara WhatsApp group, which we are streaming this particular session so that you can view it in future, I will again um, paste that particular link. We also have a WhatsApp group. I will paste all those links onto both uh, the Facebook group and onto this particular a Zoom session that you're having. And if you have any questions, please let me know. You can text me on that particular number that you can see on the screen right now. You can email me. All right? Do you have any questions? You can type in the comment section. For those joining now, I've just seen Fatma Karibu. Um, the session is already recorded onto the Facebook group, which I'll be sharing that particular link shortly. All right. That was an informative session. Thanks, Alice. Um, thank you so much. Anybody else with a question, comment? Because we have come to an end, the end of our session this morning and it was very interactive and I'm so happy. The questions you have actually asked helps me actually in um, helping you, right? <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much for listening. Thanks so much for joining. It's been a wonderful session. I think we'll bring that particular session to a close so that we can actually start our day. It's already eight o'clock, um, right? So no further comments thank you so much have a good day and it's a goodbye for now goodbye bye 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 thank you thank you thank you diana thank you alice thank you fatma lisa daniel thank you everyone goodbye <laughs>